it's easy to put people in boxes. There's us, and there's them. What's this? The high earners, and those just getting by. Those we trust. I think I've seen this. And those we try to avoid. Oh, I wonder if this is kind of a political ad. The people from the countryside, and those who've never seen a cow. Oh, this is interesting. The religious, and the self-confident. Yes. There are those we share something with, and those we don't share anything with. It's our society. Welcome. Det kommer til at stille jer nogle spørgsmål lidt. Danish, I think. Nogle af dem kan godt være lidt. Seems like this is going to be something relating to today's issues. Hvem her i rummet var klassens clown? Me. I was a class clown before. <laughs> oh, that's kind of clever. I guess it's sort of showing people that they're all connected. All different nationalities, religion. Yeah. I was a step parent too. Interesting, interesting divisions. Wow, that guy's built. And then suddenly, there's us. It looks like a study. We who believe in life. Um, this is very timely because of what's we going on right now. We who've seen UFOs. And all of us who love to dance. It's my peeps. <laughs> we who've been bullied. And that's a real problem today. Even on social media, there's a lot of bullying going on. And we who've bullied others. Never bullied anybody. Why can't we all get along? And then there's us, the lucky ones who've had sex this past week. <laughs> the lucky ones who've had sex this past week. <laughs> I'm not in that category. We who are broken hearted. We who are madly in love. That's cute. We who feel lonely. Yeah, I'm with that group. Hmm. This is all about emotion. We who are bisexual. It's all about the human soul. And we who acknowledge the courage of others. I'm already feeling the love from this. We who have found the meaning of life. And we who have saved lives. I'm still trying to figure out what if this and is a commercial or what it is. Just love Denmark. Denmark, I was right. I guess we call us. There's more that brings us together. We still the same. There's more that brings us together than we think. That would be really nice. TV2 Denmark. All Doesn't seem to be getting much better day by day, does it? That was really nice, really nice. It shows that really, by the time you figure out everything you are, you really belong to the whole group. Very politically correct, but very moving. A message to reach out. Yeah, we're all different. Some people really bang heads hard against it. Um, and some people are more accepting. Showing that a lot of people have a lot of stuff in common, which we could use a lot more of today when our government are trying to be divisive and, uh, you know, put people in boxes and not want to, you know, deal with uh, people who don't, who disagree with them. We all have the same color blood, right? One race, one people. We're all brothers and sisters. So this video comes from the Danish broadcaster TV2, and since its release has gone viral amassing millions and millions of views on Facebook and YouTube alone. I could see why. It really deserves to be seen widely. So what do you think it is about the video that people seem to be responding to? Because everyone is feeling or impacted by what's going on. Because of all the hate and hateful rhetoric, people needed to see something like this to make them take a breath, take a step back, and think. Our um, society, our country, it, it, it needs something like that to lift us up. We need to come together as, as, uh, as one, you know, united. It's a brilliant video. And if it's gone viral here, then that would sort of make a statement as to how we really feel. Look at all of us embracing that video. It's saying what we want to say. It makes us all think a little bit and realize that as different as we think we are, we suffer the same ups and downs, tragedies, happiness, and feelings. Well, the video's message appears to be that beneath the surface we are all human and have more in common with each other than our outward appearances might suggest. Let's jump right in and know that there is no judgment here today. Are there any prejudices that you might have now or used to have in the past? Oh, 
Actually, I've never been judgmental in my life. Even my kids tell me, Ma, you're so good, you think people are all good. Because that's how I was brought up. I've always been a pacifist. I've always tried to listen. The prejudice I have today against very religious people who try and interfere with uh, the rights of those who don't think the same. Are you trying to uh, establish prejudice against people and ban people from the country because of their religion? Is that really what your God would want you to do? I can't see making different bathrooms for different people. I don't believe that's correct at all. And I don't know what the answer is either because every person's got their own identity. I might have been prejudiced regarding uh, gay and lesbian because I didn't, didn't understand it. But I realize when you get more understanding, then those prejudices disappear. And that's the way I feel today. I feel that I have more understanding about that. The Germans in World War II and the Japanese in World War II killed a lot of people. Believe me, the mistakes we made, like putting Japanese in internment camps, I, I realize. But there's was for years that prejudice. I've had to fight against it for years because I was nine years old when that happened. When I was going to elementary school, I had never seen a black person before. You know, uh, and then there was the busing. And suddenly they start busting all these, you know, folks from the South LA area. And I've been told, and that was the key, I was told they're dangerous. So you automatically respond to it without knowing a person. As I got older, I was being prejudiced as well too. In the 70s, uh, I, as I go into a restaurant in Hollywood, uh, they weren't, I put my names down. They didn't allow to seat me until everybody else behind me is all seated. It's different when you're on the other side of the, you know, spectrums, you know, and, and you start realizing, hey, wait a minute. I was that person who treated me that way, you know, and why am I treating other folks that way? So you start to learn and understand, you know, you should not be that way. So as an elder, you've lived through a lot of recent history, but have you ever seen the United States as divided as it seems today? Uh, well, not in my life. It was divided when I got here in the 70s. I would say it was more because the, the opportunities weren't there. The redlining was happening where I couldn't rent where I wanted to. You know, things have gotten to me better. We'd had very big problems, of course, in the, in the 70s, the 60s and 70s. The racial issue was huge. Also, the, the Vietnam War, there was such disruption about that. Today, I don't get the feeling of violence. It's a feeling of ugliness. Today's terrible. I'm scared. Honestly, I am. No, I haven't. <laughs> You've got people who just hate Republicans and people who just can't stand Democrats. We can't seem to uh, to debate these things without without our feelings coming out, without becoming emotional. It's past disagreeing with each other and, and just it's off the Richter scale. This group is being told one thing. This group is being told another thing. And as the days go by, it gets tougher and tougher to figure out what's real. So some people feel that although it's been there all along, prejudices are becoming a lot more visible as of late. That's right. I would think so, yeah. There are those that say that your generation has some of that intolerance. Have you seen you or your peers not change with the times, or have you seen people change their beliefs over time? I think it's tougher. I don't think they change at all. If they were the hippie, you know, in the 60s, they still the hippie, you know, in their mind. You know, if they are the, 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 the conservative, you know, in the 60s, they still conservative today. Once you've been, after six plus decades, that's sort of the category I fall into, quit trying, you're not gonna change their minds. Some elders are like that, yeah, but uh, many, 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 many are not. All the elders I know, and I know we know a lot of elders, and they are all very, very tolerant, uh, fine people. I grew up in the 60s, and, you know, segregation was a big thing. And that had to change. And, and I, I grew up in an all-white town, for Pete's sakes. I didn't know many people of color. Now, it doesn't make much of a difference. I like to shake the hands of any color but green, I guess. <laughs> so finally, in your opinion, with all that is going on in the world today, if people don't think of people more like this video is showing, what do you think will happen in the future, even after your time? I, I can't even really fathom which way it might go. The environment will cause 
cause people to cha change their ideas on that when storms increase. It will be constant wars in different parts of the world, some civil wars. It's scary. It's scary for you guys. We'll explode. We can't, as people throughout the, throughout the world, uh, tolerate this amount of intolerance. Unfortunately, history repeats itself. I'm seeing where certain people are stoking that fear of them against us. Hopefully people are going to wake up and start, you know, watching videos like that, talking to each other, figuring it out. I just hope that everybody gets together well and uh, not kill people, you know. We're human beings, we should love each other and be as one.